Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I have another 642 things to draw. It's been a while since I've done another episode of this and it's been a while since I've looked at what we've done. So let's have a see. <laughs> I remember this one. Alright so let's see what the next prompt is. In fact I'll zoom in so we can see together. There we go. Hopefully it peels off okay. Oh, there we go. So, I don't know if you can see that, but it says... Hang on. Sandwich. So, yeah, that's the next prompt. Sandwich. God, it, it sounds weird when I'm saying it. Sandwich. 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 <laughs> anyway. Um, right, let's get into it. I don't think I've ever drawn a sandwich before. <clears throat> well, I might have, but I don't know. If you heard the ch um, a squeak then, it was the chair. It wasn't anything else. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. I might try and draw like one of those baguettes because they're my favourite type of sandwiches. I used to get a ham and cheese sandwich from Greg's, which I'd highly recommend. I know it might seem plain and boring, ham and cheese, but I, I'm not really into sandwiches that are that have like lots of stuff on it and lots of sauces. I just like plain sandwiches. <laughs> You'll have to leave a comment below in the comment section and let me know what your favourite type of sandwich is. I think that would be quite interesting. I bet all of your sandwiches are like those BLTs and those egg sandwiches. I don't like egg sandwiches. I like eggs, I just don't like them on a sandwich. Which is weird. I know that's very strange. I don't know, there's just something about eggs on a sandwich that just doesn't do it for me. <laughs> it, it doesn't. Um, I hope you're, you've all been doing alright. I know it's like very weird and different right now. I'm doing alright. I'm okay. Nothing to report here. I'm actually doing quite a lot of talking and drawing at the same time. I'm us I usually go really quiet because I don't... Well, I concentrate, don't I? But yeah, not this time. I'm going to try and talk whilst drawing. <laughs> I said at the beginning that I don't like sandwiches that are really, that have a lot of things on them but yeah I'm drawing a baguette that's got probably tomato cucumber and lots of different cheeses on it. I could have drawn my favourite sandwich but that wouldn't look very interesting would it? I kind of want to use markers on this, but I know it's going to go through on the second page, so we'll see. I'm just going to get a brush pen, if I can find one. Uh oh, I've lost my brush pen. I threw it away actually, I remember now, I threw it away because it had run out. Oh, I've got this one here. It's not quite a brush pen, but it is a good pen. I don't know if you can see that. 
it's a Stably open. I got this from a cartoon museum in London. I'd recommend it because it is a really good pen. Oh, I've done it again. I meant to go down and up and I drew across my uh, line. I tend to do that a lot. I did it earlier today because I drew a different illustration. I've gone quiet now because I don't know what to say. <laughs> I feel like I've talked about everything but I probably haven't. Something will come to mind eventually. I suppose I could talk about what I had to had for lunch today. I had a ham salad but it was with cheese, boiled egg and tomato, uh, spring onions, it's basically all just on a plate and then obviously you mix it together. This video has turned into a topic about food <laughs> and what food we, we have, well what food I have. My all time favourite meal would probably be between a roast chicken dinner and pizza. <laughs> They're so different but I do like pizza. I think most people like pizza. Oops, someone's just come inside so I might have to go quiet in a minute just in case. They hear me talking to myself. <laughs> Alright, so I had to stop the camera. My mum had come upstairs and I asked her how you say sandwich, sandwich, sandwich. And we were saying it for ages and it just sounded weird. And then she said to me, um, just call it a sarni. <laughs> so that's where I'm calling this Asani. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go around this with a thicker line so it sort of adds to the cartoon style. I think I knew about this doing this technique anyway, but it so I sort of got a refresher when I watch Jazz, Jazza's video. I don't know if any of you watch Draw with Jazza. I'd highly recommend it. He does, well, he's called Jazza now because he does quite a few different videos to what he used to do. He used to just do drawing but now he does um, lots of other different things. He even sings. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that video where he drew Joe Exotic in one minute, one hour, 30 minutes, 10 minutes, one minute I think. And on the one hour version he just started singing that Joe Exotic song. Tell all the hunters, lay down their guns, cause if you love tigers that's another topic actually. I've never I haven't watched The Tiger King yet. Well, I don't have Netflix, so I haven't seen it. Have any of you seen it? I'm sure most of you have seen it. I think all of you have Netflix. <laughs> um, I might do a thicker line on this bit here. I was thinking about doing an art ASMR video, but then I thought, no, that's just, 
This might just be a little bit weird. <laughs> I have listened to ASMR videos. They're alright. But some of them are a bit strange. <laughs> No offence to people that do ASMR videos um, because it does take, I'm going to shut up because I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, yeah so I've added the outline to this sandwich, Sani, sorry, <laughs> and I'm going to colour it in with my Polychromos Fibre Castell. I actually have the lid here if you want to see it. Oops, upside down, that's a good job. Yep. Um, let's talk about what artist I've been watching recently. I've been watching Gem from the Colour Cave. So shout out to you, Gem. She makes some awesome videos. Um, I'll leave a link to her channel in the top description if you want to check it out. She does a lot of unboxings of apps, whoop, I can't talk, <laughs> at subscription boxes and she does a lot of reviews. She actually does do a colouring uh, episode on Sundays. I've opted for coloured pencils because if I used markers it'd go straight through. Oh great, there's a motorbike. I'm going to have to stop filming until it's drove away. <laughs> My next door neighbour has a motorbike and it's very loud. <laughs> I'm not sure how long he's going to be. Oh wait, no, he stopped it now. I think he was just putting it onto the drive or something. I forgot what I was saying now. Um, I've completely forgot. I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, I was saying about not using markers because it would go through onto the other page and it would ruin the illustration. It sort of does that with the pen anyway. I don't know if you can see. I sort of wished they would have made this paper thicker. But they haven't. I actually want to say um, another massive thank you to all of you that have supported this channel and also to all the new people, hello. Um, if you're watching this, <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's mind blowing. It's mind blowing, and I'm so grateful that people like what I do enough to want to see more, I guess, and keep up to date with my art journey. So they say. I completely ruined that bit. That needs to go down. So I'm going to make that line thicker and I'm going to get my white Posca pen. And I'm going to cover this bit up. It might take a few layers actually because. Let's so see. Yeah, it's going to take a few layers. <laughs> it looks grey now. I'll go over it again with the Posca pen. I wonder if there's a technique to colouring. I mean, I have a technique for when I'm colouring. Um, I keep saying erm a lot and I bet it's really annoying for you. I know someone commented on that on my previous <laughs> sketchbook tour. So, uh, um, I'm saying um again. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's just a habit. I think it's 
you just do it when you pause and I'm trying not to say the word again <laughs> so yeah when when you color when you're coloring um oh, I've said it again <laughs> oh god when you're coloring portraits I always make sure to do layers and you just keep building up but in between the layers you'll use the white Prismacolor pencil or the white polychroma pencil just to blend it out and sometimes I'll use baby oil which is a new technique that I found you basically get a cotton pad and you just like dab it in and then go round. I won't be able to show that technique on here because this paper is so thin so it'll just go straight through. I suppose I could try it for you. It actually took forever to get the cap off of the baby oil because obviously it's child proof. And I mean I'm not a child I am an adult now, but I could not for the life of me open it. I had to get some pliers to grab hold of it and and like twist it so it comes off. Which was it was an experience. I had to go I had to get my mum to help me get it off. And what type of lettuce shall we have? I can't remember what's lettuce and what's not. Is, there we go. He's started driving his motorbike again. And he's actually going to go up the street this time. There we go. He's finally gone. <laughs> I think this bit will be the lettuce. And we'll make this bit the cheese. I think that's what we're going to do. I hope you peeps enjoy this type of video. Where it's real time and I'm just drawing random things out of this book. You can even draw along actually. You could tag me in... You could upload it to Instagram and tag, tag me in it so I can see what what you made, what type of sandwich you made. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to see what you came up with. This is making me want to get a ham and cheese sandwich from Greg's, but I don't think they're open. I'm not sure if they're open or not. Cheese is yellow, isn't it? I don't know what type of yellow it is. This is called light yellow glaze. I think we'll go with this one. Yeah, that'll be fine. I think this might be my favorite one so far and it's probably because I've colored it in. <laughs> I probably should have colored all the others in. But I haven't. There we go. It looks a little bit like a little child has coloured this in. <laughs> um, I suppose you could spend for ages. I think actually it's to do with the paper. I think it's to do with the paper, why it's not. I'm gonna blame the paper. It's not me, it's the paper. <laughs> oh dear, look at that. It doesn't even blend at all. Oh well. We tried. It's only, this book's only really just to practice drawing every day, even if it's just a random thing. Like a sandwich or a sani. 
whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what colour to put these indents as. Whether they're darker or lighter. I need a reference picture of a baguette, actually. Then I'll be able to do it properly. Baguette. That's one word I can actually spell. <laughs> right, so the inside is a light colour. So I might have to go over this so it's a bit darker. The baguettes from Greg's are actually, they look quite pale. Some of them can be nice and like brown, brown and golden. I tend to go for the pale ones actually though. <laughs> Because I have a wire at the back of my top top teeth, um, because I had I had braces and I have a wire at the back of my top teeth, so they don't move, and that wire stays there until I die, basically. <laughs> to put it bluntly, <laughs> so. I have to be careful when I eat food because I don't want to break the wire that's at the back of my, my teeth. It's quite a pain actually but I just have to be careful because otherwise I have to pay another £150 to get, well I think it's a roundabout of £100, £120 I think they said, to get the wire fixed. You see I, I, I had it... Um, I had it break on me before, but you get one free replacement. And there's actually a funny story about that. I had it fitted and then not long after it snapped when I ate some garlic bread. And I reckon she didn't like fix it to my teeth properly. She didn't put enough glue there so it broke and I was I was good because I'd lost my free my free chance <laughs> oh dear I think these bits are tomatoes yeah the ones with the seeds are tomatoes I'll put a bit of cucumber in there and then I think I'll leave the rest to be eggs I've just looked at the, the time on this and it's like a 15, well in fact it'll be past 15 minute video. If you've made it this far, comment below, comment below if you've made it this far, egg. <laughs> if you put egg in the comments I know that you've you've watched this far. In fact, I'm not going to have eggs in this, I'm going to ha just have cucumbers. Right, there we go. I'm going to call that finished. Alright, so I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and then, and then coming back to another episode of this. I know it's been a while. But yeah, if you, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below what you think and subscribe for more and I'll see you next time with another video. Okay, bye.